Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Crazy here. And in today's movie review for Father's Day, I'm going to be reviewing another Robin Williams film, which was released in August of 2009. This movie was actually released on August 21st of 2009, which was like a, like six days before, before I turned 10 years old. And so, this review is on World's Greatest Dad. World's Greatest Dad stars Robin Williams and Daryl Sabera. So, in this movie, when the son of high school English teacher Lance Clayton, like when, like when Kyle when Kyle accidentally kills himself, Clayton r r writes a fake suicide note to evade to evade scandal. At first, un uninterested in, in, in the death, the, the school is, is taken by by the by the letter after after it is after it is published in, in the school paper, hoping to claim the literally uh, re reown. He, he has always wanted. Lance writes a diary to to fame and and, and follow and and, Lan and Lance receives Lance receives a, the attention he always wished for, but but finds keep keeping his cool might might be easier written than done. And yeah. So like but before before me before me and my parents went out for Father's Day lunch with my dad. I actually, I actually also rented this movie off of Amazon today, and and I gotta say, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I actually thought thought World's Greatest Dad was an, an amazing movie with Robin Williams. Yeah, and of course, this movie is also distributed by by like a, it's actually distributed by Magnolia Pictures. Like, it's not distributed by a, by a well known movie studio. It was actually produced by 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 Magnolia Pictures. And of course, the, the the direction and screenplay was actually done by by a person named Bobcat Goldthwaite, like whatever you want to say that name. But I gotta say, the screenplay, the writing was actually was actually pretty solid, and the direct and the direction directing was also pretty decent as well. But what I also really like about this movie is that is that World's Greatest Dad is is is, a, is meant to be like a is meant to be like like a black a black comedy drama film. But but I think when it but I think when it comes to the seriousness and the drama, I think this I think this movie like mainly focuses on like the focuses on the seriousness. It mainly focuses on the drama scenes and where it's not it's not all comedic or anything like that. Because because this movie did did have some did have some pretty serious scenes and 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 this is probably and this is probably like like one of one of Robin Williams' more more serious movies he was in. And of course, the son Kyle was also played by Daryl Sabera. Like Daryl Sabera, like he, he, like he's only in this movie for for like the first half of the film, and but his performance I thought was pretty good. Like I, I liked his performance here, and and Robin Williams, like Robin Williams was was always fun to see on the screen, and yeah, and like I said, it's not not really, it hasn't really been the same without him since he since he died like nearly ten years ago. But I gotta say, Robin Williams' performance here was actually was actually pretty well done too. And as for as for other people who are in this film, well, I, I, oh yeah, and plus when I was watching this movie carefully, I actually I actually saw saw that two SpongeBob voice actors make it make a cameo scene in this movie, like like Jill Tail Jill Tell Telly and of course um, Tom Kenny. Yeah, Tom Kenny, the main SpongeBob SquarePants voice actor, he's he's he makes a cameo appearance in this film, and and Jill Jill Talley also makes an, an appearance as well, the voice of Karen on SpongeBob. Yeah, two SpongeBob voice actors that are in a Robin Williams drama film, World's Greatest Dad. Oh yeah, and of course, and of course, the connect the connections that that, that were referenced in this movie, like 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 during like during like some during the, I think like some sort of like going out to dinner scene uh, that during during the first half of the film, like the, like t like two of the main characters, including Lance, they 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 talk about like what movies they have seen, including including like Willy Wonka with Gene Wilder, and of course they also mention his one of his famous films, Young Frankenstein. Yeah, the the connections and references that that, that were featured in this movie. Like they were pretty solid enough. But it sure does have a good soundtrack. Like like the, the closing song to this movie is actually Under Pressure by Queen and David Bowie. Yeah, which is a very classic song. 
Oh yeah, and since this movie came out in, in August of 2009, like the 21st of August of 2009, like six days before I turned 10 years old, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of hard to believe this movie's turning 15 years old this year. Like this August, it'll turn 15 years old. And of course this August, I'll turn, I'll be 25 years old this August. Yeah, we are getting closer, so. So, overall, World's Greatest Dad was an amazing Robin Williams film, and and this was and this was a good this was a good one to watch on for Father's Day today, even though even though even though even though one one like even though, even though it is considered to be like a, like a weird choice for for a Father's Day movie, but I got to say guys, it was worth it, and, and I'm glad I watched it. So anyway, overall, World's Greatest Dad was an amazing film. And I'm gonna give World's Greatest Dad four and a half out of five stars. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if if you haven't seen this movie yet, then I say I recommend giving it a watch. Yeah. Especially like if especially if, especially if you're like if you're like a huge fan of Robin Williams, because I know a lot of people are. But but like I said, if you haven't seen World's Greatest Dad, then I say this is I say this is a pr pretty good choice to watch. Like, if you're interested in watching it, so there you have it. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for my movie review on World's Greatest Dad. And that's going to be it for this video, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, Goodbye everybody, and that's about it. And once again, Happy Father's Day. Bye, guys.